a very good morning to all. Uh, uh, so you have uh, listened the last two days. Uh, so I will uh, continue the, the safety part uh, today. So today's lecture is on road geometry, traffic signs, traffic markings and delineations which are very important component uh, for road safety consideration. First, I will talk about uh, highway geometric elements. Uh, highway geometric elements, you all know it, you all have studied. So, these are uh, the components, the major components of the geometric elements, uh, cross section elements, the side distance, horizontal alignment, vertical alignment and intersection. So, these uh, have also uh, the safety consideration we will discuss today. So, you all know these components and the features and other things. I will focus particularly on the safety part of it. So, these are the different uh, cross section elements, the carriageway, the carriageway, the shoulder, the culverts and minor bridges may be present along the highway. Uh, the side slope, there may be cut and uh, field sections, so the side slope is also important. Lateral and vertical clearance, those are all components. Uh, guard rails, guard rails are also present along the, um, the highway and the side drains. So, these are uh, the uh, some of the cross section elements. Uh, the first will come to the carriageway part. So, carriageway is the main portion where the vehicles are moving. So, we should have a good carriageway, a sound and strong carriageway. But uh, if the carriageway is not uh, in good condition, there are unevenness or potholes, there may be uh, problems, the, the road users may feel uh, discomfort and there may be accidents also. So, you can see here that these are uh, some of the pictures, a very bad condition of the carriageway and that may cause a uh, safety problem. But a very good or sm very smooth carriageway is also not desirable from safety consideration because that may cause skidding of the vehicles. So, it should have sufficient friction of the on the carriageway so that uh, there is no skidding, less chance of skidding but uh, should not be this much of unevenness or presence of potholes or so. So, a good carriageway is uh, required. Another important cross section element is the shoulder. Particularly for highways, shoulder is very important component. The type of shoulder, the width of shoulder and the levels of shoulder all are very important for highways. In many of the cases, we do not have uh, service roads. Uh, so, shoulder should be proper, should be sound and should have sufficient width so that uh, say the cycles or vulnerable road users, maybe the pedestrians can use it properly. So, a shoulder must have sufficient width to accommodate this type of vulnerable road users as well as should be sufficiently strong. It may be paved, it may not be paved. Uh, if it is not paved, then also it should be hard enough to carry these uh, vulnerable road users or cyclists or sometimes the vehicles may get damaged. So, that can also be uh, parked there. So, sh shoulders should be in good condition, should be of sufficient width and edge drop. That is also very, very important for highways because if there is a difference in level between the shoulder and the carriageway, then uh, there may be problem for the, the wheels, the vehicle, the wheels of the vehicle if it is on that edge, that may cause accidents and that happened also. Sometimes it happened that the roads are uh, uh, repaired, so one layer is uh, put on it, but the shoulder is not treated properly. So, that causes difference in uh, levels. So, that should not be done. Uh, when we repair or maintain the road, we should also uh, think about the shoulder, we should also maintain the shoulder so that it should be sufficiently strong and can have a proper condition uh, for the vehicles. So, age drop is not desirable, a good shoulder is necessary. Then culverts and minor bridges may be there along the highway and uh, you can see here that uh, uh, this is a minor bridge present. 
sometimes maybe some small streams are there or low land. So, in that case we can provide the culverts or minor bridges. So, in that case in many times there is a change in cross section. Sometimes uh, at the initial uh, stage of uh, road development culverts are prepared wider than the normal uh, carriageway. But over a period of time the road width has increased, the more number of lanes have come. So, the culverts are still uh, say two lane or so. So, in that case there is a change in the cross section. So, we should provide sufficient um, road signs as you can see that there is a narrow bridge and also the hazard marking to be provided that we will discuss more. So, proper hazard marking should be there if there is a culvert which is of narrow width and uh, proper sign also should be provided because there is a change in the cross section. So, if the road user is not informed properly then he will continue in the higher speed. So, if uh, there is such uh, minor uh, bridge or culvert and there is a road narrow ahead, the road user should be informed well in advance. So, this is very important because um, he should get informed before approaching the minor road. So, proper sign marking hazard uh, markers should be provided for the safety of the road users. Another is the drains, side drains. Side drains are also important consideration as you can see that sometimes the side drains are provided and there is no <coughs> marking, no signs. Mm -hmm. And particularly night time it is very, very difficult for the, the vehicle uh, users, the drivers, they cannot make out. So, there may be uh, accident. So, as you can see that this type of accident may occur. and this vehicle has uh, fallen. So, we should uh, give proper marking, delineation as well as road signs to warn the drivers that there is a drain, side drain and uh, if we are not providing those things that may cause accidents. So, from the safety consideration side drains if it is there, it has to be properly marked, delineated and it should be informed to the road users. So, another important consideration is side distance. Side distance is very, very important for all road users, for all types of road, it is one of the most important component. So, we have seen that all the uh, geometric elements. So, along with that, for all types of road side distance is very much necessary and it is very much essential from safety consideration. So, we can have stopping side distance, uh, overtaking side distance, intersection side distance, headlight side distance you all know it, but uh, these are also very, very important I am saying it particularly for the safety consideration. So, Okay, okay. So, in other part, earlier part you need some more or abhi, abhi, okay. So, this is the uh, stopping side, okay. 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 Next is there. So, I will uh, discuss. So, these are the side distances um, we will discuss next. So, first is the stopping side distance that is the uh, minimum requirement for safety consideration. It is the length of the road required for safe stopping of a moving vehicle. So, when a vehicle is moving along the road and he sees uh, he or she uh, locates one object and understand that it has to be the vehicle needs to stopped and needs to be stopped. So, in that case the he will apply the brake and then the vehicle can stop. So, by the time he sees the object, applies the brake, some distance is traveled, right. And that distance must be there uh, for the uh, road. If that is not there, then he will hit it, then he will hit the object, right. Because it depends on the speed of the vehicle. More is the speed, more is the distance it will travel after applying the brake. So, 
for a particular road, it has a particular design speed. So, the vehicle is traveling say at 80 kilometer per hour. So, in that case, the side distance, minimum side distance or the stopping side distance should be such that if he travel at, uh, travels at 80 kilometer per hour, he should be able to stop it. So, that much of side distance should be available and that is the minimum required side distance for safe operation of traffic. Okay, so, this is the minimum side distance uh, required. What if, if that is not available, then we have to reduce the speed and we have to mention that there is a speed restriction, you have to follow that. Similarly, for the overtaking side distance, so as you can see here that this is the overtaking side distance. So, here also we should have sufficient side distance when the vehicle is coming from the opposite side, particularly for rural roads when it is not a divided highway. So, in that case, the vehicle from the other direction is coming. So, if we want to um, overtake any vehicle, so sufficient distance should be visible to him so that he can overtake the uh, vehicle ahead of it uh, without any collision to the moving vehicle coming in the opposite direction. So, move, uh, overtaking side distance also should be sufficient uh, for the road and if it is not there, then we either we have to mention that overtaking is not allowed because overtaking side distance is not available. So, no overtaking sign should be provided. So, because that if we do not provide it, that may cause a safety problem, the accidents may occur. So, minimum side distance, minimum required side distance for safe operation of traffic is the safe uh, uh, stopping side distance must be there. If it is not there, we have to mention, we have to put the road sign that uh, here you have to reduce the speed. And uh, for overtaking also, sufficient uh, side distance must be provided. If it is not, then you have to mention that no overtaking in this region. Uh, so, we are saying that uh, stopping side distance and overtaking side distance at straight locations. Generally, in the straight location, there is no problem of side distance because the vehicle, uh, the driver can see the road ahead of it. So, generally, there is uh, no problem. Uh, so, it depends on the perception time or reaction time of the driver and then the speed of the vehicle as I have just mentioned that uh, the distance it travels once it sees the object, uh, the perception time and that perception time some distance is moved and then he applies the brake and with that also some distance is moved that is the braking distance. So, this stopping side distance one can calculate by knowing the perception time, the speed of the vehicle because it depends on the speed of the vehicle more is the speed more is the distance efficiency of brake because it has to uh, apply the brake. So, brake efficiency is needed, frictional resistance between the road and the tires or the deceleration rate and also on the longitudinal gradient of the road. So, these are the factors that may influence the stopping side distance. So, we have we can calculate that how much is the stopping side distance required on that road. If it is not there, speed limit sign as I have mentioned and no overtaking sign must be installed. So, this is a speed limit sign, a typical speed limit sign, it may be 15, it may be 30 or so and this is the very common no overtaking sign that has to be provided. So, these are very, very important uh, for the safety consideration, we should not uh, compromise with the side distance. If we uh, are having the, some stretch where there is uh, limited side distance, we are not getting a, a available side distance, we have to provide road signs so that the speed is restricted, no overtaking sign etcetera. Now, we will discuss the horizontal curves. So, horizontal curves uh, are also locations where you may find uh, the side distance is obstructed. So, obstruction to side distance can be due to the presence of buildings, trees, etc. Mm -hmm. Initially, the road may have constructed well and uh, the curvature is also 
uh, adequate. But after some time, some years, there may be the small trees have grown up and some shops have come up, some banners, hoardings may come up. So all these may cause uh, obstruction to the vision. So you can see here that this is a typical horizontal curve and um, this is also a real picture, but the sight distance is restricted due to the presence of large trees. So uh, horizontal curves is also a location where the driver needs to be very careful because uh, there should be adequate sight distance, otherwise uh, there may be a problem, there may be collision, some vehicle may come from the opposite direction because it is a rural road, may not be all divided. So in that case, accidents may occur. So setback distance is provided to, for adequate side distance on the horizontal curve. So this also uh, you can see here that side, uh, setback distance can be provided to uh, have more uh, side distance particularly at the horizontal curves. So uh, along the horizontal curve then we have to provide uh, necessary measures to warn the road users, to warn the driver that a car is present. The, road lim uh, the speed limit sign needs to be provided, proper marking or the chevrons need to be provided. So warning signs, road markings, chevron markings ahead of the sharp car yeah, must be provided. Hmm? Chevron marking is, uh, I, I, will, I will discuss more in detail. Ha, it is small just one, a, ha, at a small one, it is like a hazard. Hmm. Is and yes, 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 yes. These, these are chevron marks. I will show you in, in a better picture. So along the horizontal curve, we need to provide these chevrons. Uh, speed limit sign also may be provided because if the side distance is restricted, we have to reduce the speed. So, this is a typical speed limit sign. Road marking, these are very important that also we will discuss uh, in more detail. So this is the road marking and particularly it is necessary for night time. So during the night time there is no other light. So the age markings are very, very important. And how the curve is bent, how much is the radius that we cannot understand if no marking is there, no chevron marking is provided. So that is very much important and that will guide the road users, the driver to follow the curve. If side distance is not available, provide speed limit sign that I have mentioned. This is also important for vertical curves. So in case of vertical curves, side distance may again be restricted. As you can see here that when it is particularly for summit curve, so when it is moving up and another vehicle is coming, so if the gradient is such that there is a restriction in the uh, vision, so then uh, this, this vehicle, the driver of this vehicle will not be able to see this vehicle. So proper side distance yeah, must. Talking about uh, the another lecture context, you know, the character is a black sport where safety issue can say that. Or who's me, I have a photo of the character, the bridge, well, let's get a photo. Or you are the key, same cheese is good. I'm very careful. Look at rural road, Kelly, a sorry rural road, undivided road has two way movement there. So, this problem is very serious. If you have a national highway, you have to opposite sides of the divided road and opposite sides of the traffic problem. But for the rural road, the undivided road is very important. And if you have a problem, you have a problem. This is the example of the bridge level. The bridge level is low. 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 अभी क्या हुआ नया ब्रिज बना लेवल ऊंचा हो गया और क्या कर दिया सिंपली जैसे ही रोड था रोड को पहले इस तरफ जा रहे थे अभी थोड़ा कनेक्ट करके इस तरफ अप्रोच के नया ब्रिज के साथ कनेक्ट कर दिया कनेक्ट तो कर दिया लेकिन वो लेवल डिफरेंस हो गया और 
उसका साइड डिस्टेंस नहीं है हमेशा एक्सीडेंट होता है सिंपल सिंपल इंजीनियरिंग थिंग है तो ये ये ध्यान से इसको देखिए और इसको प्लीज याद रखिए क्योंकि आई एम श्योर आप लोगों के पास मतलब अपना एरिया में कई सारी जगह में मिलेगा जैसे दिस दिस एरिया ओनली व्हेन वी वर कमिंग सम साइड रोड वी हैव फॉलोड एंड देयर इज नो एज मार्किंग वी वर ट्रैवलिंग इन द नाइट अराउंड 10:00 और सो नो एज मार्किंग and uh, also no chevron and uh, this is also a little bit hilly area so bahut sari marking hai actually i should also say ye madam ne whatever she is trying to cover in one lecture ye 15 din ka jo typical audit program hai dheeme tale chalta rehta 15 din ka right usme pura ek din de dete log geometry ko discuss karte एक लेक्चर रहेगा ट्रैफिक साइन के ऊपर एक रहेगा मार्किंग के ऊपर डेलीगेशन के ऊपर तो हमारा पास क्या है ना जी एक मतलब फाइव डे का ट्रेनिंग है तो हम लोग ज्यादा मतलब ऐसे लक्ष्य नहीं है कि हम ज्योमेट्रिक डिजाइन को पूरा दिन पढ़ाए जरूरत भी नहीं है तो ये एक्चुअली पूरा एक दिन का कॉम्पाइलेशन एक लेक्चर में लाया बट वॉट इज गोइंग यू आर गोइंग टू सी सारी जो एक्चुअल की पॉइंट है चीज आपको मालूम है आपको मालूम है, लेकिन जहां जहां पे जियोमेट्रिक के साथ सेफ्टी रिलेटेड है साइन के साथ कहा मार्किंग के साथ कहा सेफ सेफ्टी एंगल को देखते हुए जो जो आइटम को हाईलाइट करना चाहिए ये एज मार्किंग की जो बात हुआ एज मार्किंग इज सो इम्पोर्टेंट आपको अंदर तो होंगे <laughs> और भी कम हो जाता है और भी कम हो जाता है तो ये एक्चुअली क्या है ना आप बाहर नए ला रहे हैं कि एकदम मैडम जो वट एवर शी इज गोइंग टू कवर जो एकदम की एलिमेंट है उसको टच कर रही है So so these are the minimum requirements, minimum requirements, requirements for safety. Minimum. Accept marking yes. used as marking in the, in the curves and the approaches to the curves. But uh, throughout the edge marking, yeah, it is no, it is necessary because in the night drive, yeah, night yeah, time क्या थ्रू आउट करना है तो इंडिकेटिव हो जाएगा एज मार्किंग रहेगा तो यू कैन सी आल्सो द लाइन ऐसे घूम रहा है तो उसका एक अलग बेनिफिट है वहां पे तो होना ही चाहिए नहीं इन द स्ट्रेट व्हिच इज द मतलब कोई ना बिकॉज़ द ट्रीज में भी दे आर देयर में भी द शोल्डर इज नॉट प्रॉपर सो द ड्राइवर हां सो इफ इट इज ही इज नॉट नोन टू द रोड If the driver is not from the local region, then it is a difficult for him. Age marking is the minimum. Ah, throughout the road, it is very very important. Ha. Ha. Please, ab ye add kar dijiye. Ha. Add the way sir. You may insist. ठीक है, चलिए आगे तो. मैडम एक 
Not along the straight edge. Just you check also. Shaptarshi, you can also check. I request you to just check. Yes, yes, yes. But it should be provided from safety considerations. Yes, yes, yes. रूरल रोड में then it should be revised also. I am sure actually, others can also make comment, but I am sure this is intentional. This is a gap or mistake. I am sure that this is a gap. So, the new AFC 35, let's see. Orko also, Orko, did you see that? This is surprising to us. This is almost a fundamental basic thing. This is a road of 5.5 meter width. I use the road market for the street. Because there is a two-way traffic. But right now it is objected and we have to recover the trade line. To remove the edge marking. Yes, for the edge marking. First of all, two or three sentences. Then you close the discussion. One is For rural roads? No, not for all the roads. For all roads? All roads? NH will not be done. NH or SH. Okay, let's see. So this is... We will not have any confusion from our side. We are commenting in IRC if we are going to do 35 in the road, then we will not have any confusion. We will bring it to the IRC in the next meeting when we will discuss. So, we will not have any confusion. Because I am there in that side. Similar, you know, same IRC committee, right? Sure, sure. H7 committee takes care of this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, or going in H7 or H8? H8. But this comes under H7 road safety committee, I am there in that committee. Okay. So we will bring that. Or, Jorrath Padega, this is very elementary and very disturbing. If you are saying that all of the streets are not allowed, then we should also discuss with the NRDA. 4.5.2. ये आयर से दिखा रहे हैं ना आयर से 35 ठीक है वी विल सी ठीक चलो बट ये नेसेसिटी है ये नेसेसिटी है नहीं है तो लाना पड़ेगा ओके ठीक है चलो सो आई एम गोइंग टू द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड ओके ओके सो साइड डिस्टेंस इज इम्पोर्टेंट आल्सो फॉर द इंटरसेक्शन इन आवर हाईवेज वी हैव uh, highways are going and then minor roads are coming because there are a lot of villages 
or small um, uh, built up areas. So, minor roads may be there side from side and uh, along that uh, along the highway. So, the drivers should be properly informed that there is a uh, minor road and the junction also should not be restricted. So, at the intersection the side distance should be proper, so that the vehicle can see that uh, any vehicle is moving in the major road or from the driver in the major road can see the vehicle in the minor road. So, this is the side triangle as you can see the side triangle and whatever decoration or trees or ever anything that should not restrict the this side tri triangle. So, intersection side distance is also very important because uh, vehicles are coming from that minor road to the major road. So, the vision should not be obstructed. So, the dimensions of the side triangle depends on the design speed of the uh, intersecting roadways, the speed of this speed of vehicle on this road as well as on this road, type of traffic control used at intersection and this is the approach side triangle, this is the departure side triangle whenever uh, the vehicle is moving um, in the mi uh, minor road and it wants to go to the major road. So, this is the approach uh, side triangle and that should be clear, there should not be any hoardings or banners or trees or buildings, shops etcetera should not be there to obstruct the vision. Similarly, for the uh, departure side triangle. So, triangular area should be free from obstruction that might block the approaching driver's view. Again then if it is uh, restricted then the vehicle will travel at a very high speed without lowering its speed in the major road and that may cause accident. So, proper side distance like in horizontal curve, in vertical curve also at the intersection is very much uh, necessary. Here you can see that steep gradient of the minor road approach to the intersection is not desirable. So, this is the major road say major highway or rural highway and another minor road is coming here, but this road has been developed ok. The minor road is not developed. So, there is a level difference. So, again it, it behaves like a, that steep curve, steep gradient like a vertical curve and it cannot see the vehicle here. So, because this, this road has been developed, it has been maintained, it has been repaired the major road, but the minor road is not done. So, there is a level difference and that causes the side distance problem. So, right? if the road is repaired, the highway is repaired, then at least 100 meter of the minor road also should be repaired. So, that there should not be any level difference, there should not be any problem of side distance and that ensures a safety. So, you can see here uh, ok, these are the pictures, it is clear, the pictures are clear ok. So, steep gradient of the minor road uh, approach to the intersection is not desirable. So, it is important to uh, develop also the minor road at least 100 meters approximately approximately 30 40 meter bhi chalega ha maybe it's fine yeah is that same was also mentioned in some context right same repetition hoga from different of different chashma se dekhenge right but dekhenge to safety to har lecture is actually alag alag different uh, angles are doing that. The air, this also we said what happens often we have seen that main jo, particularly in each of the path to alagi hai exam. Kyunke wo level raise kar dete. Unka fund ka utna restriction nahi hai. 
आई आर सी में है दिस डिस्टेंस मैंशन नहीं है हाउ मच माइनर रोड टू बी ट्रीटेड इफ द मेजर रोड इज फॉर एन एच इट इज मोर फॉर एन एच इट इज मोर ये कॉन्ट्रैक्ट डॉक्यूमेंट में वो आई रिमेम्बर दिस इन हंड्रेड मीटर फॉर एन एच हाँ, ओके सो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड सो फार द geometric elements and the side distance consideration which are very much important for safety consideration so everywhere it should have proper side distance ssd osd as well as intersection side distance even in the horizontal curve and vertical curve now another very important component is road sign so that is uh, very much uh, needed uh, for uh, safety consideration and we must provide it Uh, there is one uh, irc code you all know it irc 67 code of practice for road signs it's a very well documented and nice code and there are about 200 road signs so this is the uh, picture of the cover page of that code so this code gives us all the information about the available road signs where it is to be placed what is the meaning what uh, height it should be placed at what distance on the road at uh, or on the lateral side or how much is the retro reflection everything is men mentioned in that code and we just need to follow it because the these uh, road signs are uh, provided to guide the road users so there are also indian motor vehicle acts and central motor vehicle rules that are necessary for the drivers to drive on the road safely now the purpose of road sign road sign koi decoration nahi hai on the road right it is not a decoration it is a must it is a necessity it is very very essential from safety consideration it provides the guidance to the road users caution uh, to the road users as well as giving some information so that they can follow the road rules and can drive on the road safely so the road signs are giving us guidance warnings and informations along the road so that a safe efficient and orderly driving is ensured so these are very important components and we must follow and this is just the sign so no language and other things so it can be understood by all so there are as i mentioned there are more than 200 uh, road signs in india available as mentioned in the code but these are some of the very important road signs uh, which are necessary for uh, the safety purpose you all know it this uh, driving is not restricted this is no overtaking sign speed limit sign uh, right hand uh, right or left hand curve left curve minor road some bridge the culverts are approaching i have shown it so narrow bridge road widened so these are very important road signs because when the driver is moving along the road these things are actually the difference okay so mm -hmm. abhi uh, there is a certain change in the roadway carriage way width kam ho gaya aur zyada ho gaya so there is a change in the roadway section so that should be properly informed and so that he can control its speed if the road width is narrow because of the presence of this minor bridge or so or some uh, construction activity is going on we should be informed properly so to suddenly road kam ho gaya ek lane band ho gaya to aisa hone se 
the driver should be informed well in advance. So, placement of the road sign is also very important. It should be placed much ahead to the driver so that he can uh, reduce the speed. So, there are three types of major three types of road signs. One is mandatory or regulatory sign, one is cautionary sign and one is informatory sign. So, mandatory or caution, mandatory or regulatory sign is uh, you must follow, okay? if you do not follow it, it is a punishable offence. Okay, it is the mandatory thing, you have to follow it, otherwise aapko, uh, punishable fine dena padega or any other uh, measures can be taken. Cautionary signs are there to warn the road users, to uh, give you some guidance that yes, something is there, some road narrow is there, some slippery road is there or some hill road is there. So, any information which can warn the driver to control his vehicle. So, those are cautionary signs and some information is also needed while traveling. How much distance is left to reach that place, hmm. uh, whether a hospital is nearby or not, petrol pump is there or not. So, all this information we require. So, those informations ke liye informatory signs are there. The signs are also of different shapes. So, that by seeing the shape only you have to, you can understand that whether we have to follow it or not. Mandatory signs all are circular in shape, yes. white background, red border and the things are written in black. So, this round mark means it is a mandatory sign, we have to follow it, follow. otherwise it is punishable. Cautionary sign is not punishable whether you follow it or not, but it guides you or it warns you that say a sharp turn is there or so. So, it is a triangular in shape and informatory signs are rectangular in shape. So, the colors as you see is the standard colors. Uh, as I mentioned for mandatory sign it is all circular, white background. For cautionary it is triangular, white background and uh, red uh, border and the things are written in uh, signs are in black. The, uh, the informatory signs are rectangular mostly in blue and the distances or the places are written uh, in, in this green. So, if that type of information is there, it is written in green, green board. And there are two other very, very important mandatory signs which are not circular in shape. These are stop and give way sign. So, uh, yes, so uh, this is uh, mentioned. So, color of sign as I have mentioned that we have to follow the color as per the code because these are standard practices that has been given in the IRC code 67 and we must follow it. We should not do any experiment on it. Okay. Even in national highways we have seen that the road signs are not as per standard. Cautionary signs or the mandatory signs, even the mandatory signs or rectangular board mein de dete hai. Okay, this is not correct. We should not make any experiment regarding size, shape, color, etc. Whatever is there, we should follow it. And also the, the board markings or depending on whether it is a national highway or state highway or rural roads, these colors are there. So, by seeing that color, we can understand whether it is what type of road it is, right. So, that we should follow very judiciously, we should not make any experiment karne ka koi zarurat nahi. Okay? So, just follow the road signs. Mandatory signs, some are prohibitory signs because we have to follow that. No left turn, no right turn, okay? uh, priority of vehicles in one direction, no U-turn, these are very much common also on very uh, many highways, no U-turn. Right, this is no parking, okay, you cannot park the vehicle say on an important road midway. So, no parking, no stop, stopping or standing. So, these are very important uh, signs, these are prohibitory signs, you have to follow these things. 
you can see here that these are the examples of some of the prohibitory sign. This is no overtaking sign, the side distance is restricted, so no overtaking sign is given here and at the side much ahead of that may be that curve portion and at what distance from the road, from the carriageway, at what height it should be properly visible. Kaip me dekha hai je road sign hai, but aisa teda ho gaya hai. This is very common, sometimes earlier it was done nicely, but after some time ye ho gaya hai. No overtaking sign is completely covered by trees, right? Ye ho na nahi chahiye. All signs should be properly visible, should be in good condition, properly maintained and in proper place. Sometimes it is there, but thik jaga pe nahi hai. So, these are some of the examples as you can see. Yeah, look here, no right turn is allowed here. No U-turn. And this is also a directional sign. This is also mandatory sign as you can see. This is also mandatory sign, but not in white background. But these are directional signs which are mandatory and they are in blue background and the sign is in white. So, this shows that you have to follow this path. Okay. So, this is also very, very important that we have to follow these things. Okay. Otherwise, it is a punishable offense. These are other uh, regulatory or mandatory signs, there is a speed limit sign. This is uh, when there is restriction in the vehicle width. Right. So, it, it may all um, may happen in case of rural roads that there is uh, uh, or in case of say ROB, right, width limit or height limit, length limit, maybe there is a turning, right, or a sharp curve is there. Okay. So, udhar ke liye bohat lamba vehicle is difficult. So, then there is a restriction in the length limit of the vehicle or load limit, particularly for minor bridges or even for higher but a major bridge, a big vehicle or a very high loaded vehicle is not allowed. Axle load limit. So, these are some of the uh, restrictions that needs to be followed and for that, hum loga proper sign dena chahiye. And this is very much uh, necessary. We have to provide it well in advance so that the drivers know it and follow the rules. The most important mandatory and regulatory signs from road safety perspective are the stop sign and the give way sign. The stop sign and give way sign are also mandatory signs or regulatory signs, but they are two special types of sign. They are not circular. Stop sign is octahedral and give way sign is uh, triangular. So, this is the stop sign and this is provided in the minor junction. So, because this is one of the locations where uh, there may be accident that is a location prone to accident. So, we have to treat the junctions properly. So, stop sign must be provided here and this indicates right of way when vehicle is to stop before entering the major road. So, a stop sign dene ka meaning hai that the vehicle need to be stopped, ek dam stop right installed on the left side of the approach this is just a schematic diagram you see this is a major road and this is the minor road coming to either stop sign dena padega it means that the vehicle in the minor road when it is approaching to the major road needs to be stopped okay and then when he sees that there is no vehicle in the major road then he can go to the major road so, as close to the stop line without obstructing vision, so either road marking bhi dena padega, right? The road marking bhi dena padega, we will discuss that. So, along with the sign, markings are also very important. So, both should be provided and this hard line, solid line means that you have to stop, you should not cross it. Uh, Unless there is no vehicle, then you can cross it as close to the stop line without obstructing vision, normally 1.5 meter in advance to stop line and it is a standalone sign. So, this is the stop sign, it has to be provided and whenever it is provided, vehicle need to be stopped. 
and this is the treatment for the minor road junction. Uh, this is, uh, these are some of the pictures of the recent audit we have carried out in Gujarat. You can see here that this is the minor road. We all were traveling, uh, walking and this is the major road. So, this is the stop sign is installed as you see here. This is the stop sign, this is the standalone stop sign and here. And this line also should be provided at the junction. Okay, not very uh, close to the major road, but here so that the vehicle can stop and here there should not be any restriction in the vision. So, side distance at the intersection should be clear, okay. the, the sign should not be covered by trees, right. So, this is the stop sign, this is the giveaway sign, giveaway sign is also very, very important and it is also provided in the minor intersection minor road right here vehicle need not be stopped but needs to be slowed down right vehicle need to be slowed down sorry here so here also the markings are provided as you see this is the dotted line so that you can cross after seeing that there is no vehicle on the major road so then you can cross and here also at what distance it is to be provided at what height all are mentioned in the code so, this means that you can give the priority to the major road vehicle, right? Give way to the major road vehicle, you stop it, slow down your vehicle. When the vehicle travels, you can then go to the major road. So, this is very, very important. Along with the sign, markings are also there. In most of the cases, these markings and signs come together. So, this is the uh, give way this sign means that you have to give priority to the major road vehicle and this is the go, uh, give way sign. So, these are for the minor junctions and it has to be provided either stop sign or the give way sign has to be provided to the minor road junction. This is an example, a picture you can see here, this is the giveaway sign on the major, uh, on the minor road and this is the major road and also on the carriageway, this triangle is painted, you can see here. No overtaking sign is also another very important road sign. When there is inadequate sight distance, this no overtaking sign need to be provided. But the, you have shown that somehow I just missed problem. Which one? The giveaway sign also you showed. Ah, just. Down. Yes. Uh, yesterday, <laughs> I just missed it. Kalkut Bhagavad Gita, this is one more occasion. Yes, sir. I have yes. to indicate that. This is the sign. Hai. Ah, it Vendel is the reverse triangle. Apex down. down. Yeah, downward. Or Uhi sign ahipe reflected. Give this. Give this. Actually, what you have to do is safety. And you have to do a safe system approach. You have to do a safe system approach. You have to do a safe You have to do a safe system approach. You have to do a So, you have to do a safe marking. You have to do so, in that case, that road painting can help also. Hmm. Even for the stop sign also, it is written. The stop uh, stop also is written in most of the cases. Along with the sign, this stop is written on the road. So, to give uh, more thrust on this aspect. So, no overtaking. This is also no overtaking an example. It's properly placed, no overtaking. This is a place where you have uh, restricted carriageway, so overtaking is not allowed. 
this is a speed limit sign inadequate side distance you can see here that a curve road hai side distance is restricted so ek speed limit sign lagana hai right
सिंगल लेन मत बनाओ उसको पहले से मिनिमम टू लेन बनाओ क्योंकि वो बॉर्डर में जो है स्ट्रेटेजी के चल रहे हैं और हम लोग का ये भी लॉजिक था कि आप रिपीटेडली मतलब डिस्टर्ब करोगे टेरेन को तो ठीक नहीं है अब आज सिंगल लेन बनाओगे वो स्टेबल होते होते पांच साल दस साल लगेगा उसको बराबर जम के पुराना कंडीशन में आने के लिए बाय दैट टाइम फिर आप पेड़ काट कर रहे हो तो इससे अच्छा है कि पहले ही इसको दो लेन बनाओ सेफ्टी का इशू जोड़ के तो ये लेके कन्वर्जेंस हो नहीं पाया फिर वो वापस तो आया फिर कुछ लोगों को मौका मिल गया ना ये देखा फिर वहां हमारे पास अभी हमारे पास ऐसे जो है एक कमेंट है उसके ऊपर ये मतलब काफी रिफाइज ड्राफ्ट के ऊपर तो ये एक आईएफसी कोड इतना लेवल में स्क्रीनिंग हो गया इतना लोगों की नजर से जाते हैं इट इज वेरी अनलाइकली जे कंटीन्यूअस एज लाइन इतना एलिमेंटरी सेफ्टीवेंट है जे इसमें ये मिस हो मिस हो गया वो पॉसिबल नहीं स्टेट जो किया वो देखिए रिसोर्स का लिमिटेशन था इसलिए वो बोला भाई आप पूरा नहीं दे पा रहे हो तो कहा स्टेट पोर्सन में डालोगे क्या कार में डालोगे कार में डालेंगे बट yes, इसको थोड़ा सा आप लोगों को जहां से मौका मिलेगा तो बताइए आईएससी को ही रेफर करके जो देखिए ये एलिमेंटरी सेफ्टी रिक्वायरमेंट है हमारे ट्रेनिंग कोर्स में भी मतलब थ्री मीटर और ट्रेनिंग के बाद आप थर्टी फाइव हाँ सो सो दिस इज ऑल्सो अनदर एग्जाम्पल ऑफ स्पीड लिमिट साइन प्लेस्ड थ्रू आउट द रोड इफ द रोड इज ऑफ सच दैट देर इज रेस्ट्रिक्शन इन मेनी प्लेसेस सो रोड लिमिट साइन हाँ थ्रू आउट द रोड मीन्स इन मेनी प्लेसेज देर इज रेस्ट्रिक्शन ऑफ साइड डिस्टेंस मिनिमम तो थर्टी मीटर देना ही है दिस इज आई एम से साइड डिस्टेंस हाँ इसका इसका जो ये है आप What she said that this kilometer होना चाहिए आपका जो क्वेश्चन है वॉट सर इज आस्किंग कितनी दफा साइन देना पड़ेगा अच्छा तो इसका एक रूल है जे कम से कम एक्चुअली इवन इफ इट इज ए स्मॉल वन बीच में एक कम से कम आना चाहिए राइट और दैट इज दॉन्ट जो आपको आपका नॉर्मली देखिए पांच किलोमीटर होते रहे कितने इंटरवल तो उसमें क्या होते हम लोग देखते हैं कि चल रहे चल रहे कोई स्पीड लिमिट साइड नहीं है एक लगा दिया तो नॉर्मल नॉर्मल स्पीड लिमिट साइन का फिलोसॉफी क्या होना चाहिए हम देखिए ये हर टाइम स्पेसिफिकेशन ना चल के फिलोसॉफी को समझते हैं ये क्या फिलोसॉफी है फिलोसॉफी ये भी होना चाहिए हाईवे में कहीं पे 
एक रिजनेबल रोड आके मैच कर मार्च कर रहे हैं मे बी एन एच के साथ ऐसे ही मैच कर रहे हैं और एन डी आर आके मैच कर रहे हैं रिजनेबल ट्रैफिक है तो हम पहले का साइन कहीं पे भी रहे हो सके अब सौ मीटर पहले ही उसको लगाया है जंक्शन का फिर जंक्शन के बाद हमको लगाना पड़ेगा एक क्राइटेरिया क्यों लगाना पड़ेगा जो ट्रैफिक अंदर आ रहे हैं वही अप्रोच से उसको कैसे मालूम पड़ेगा इस रोड का स्पीड लेंगे तो इसलिए लगाना पड़ेगा जहां पे आपका स्ट्रेट सेक्शन है ऐसे ओनली माइनर रोड हर माइनर रोड के बाद तो आप लगा नहीं सकते तब तो हर दो किलोमीटर में तीन किलोमीटर में लगाना पड़ेगा वो इम्प्रैक्टिकल हो जाएगा तो उसके लिए हम लोग क्या बोल रहे हैं ये कम से कम लॉन्ग सेक्शन है तो 10 किलोमीटर में एक तो कम से कम है ऐसा कोई कोडल प्रोविजन नहीं है इसके साथ मेरे को याद नहीं आ रहा है एग्जैक्टली कोडल प्रोविजन है मिनिमम डिस्टेंस का एक तो है लेकिन लेकिन सेफ्टी पॉइंट और फिर से मैं बता रहा हूँ हम लोगों का जो ये है और ये भी मैं आपको इमीडिएट बोल नहीं पा रहा हूँ थोड़ा चेक करना पड़ेगा तो जैसे डाउट आया आईआरसी थर्टी फाइव देख लिया तो सिमिलरली चाहे तो उसको देख लेंगे और हम लोग नया जो कोडल प्रोविजन ला रहे हैं उसमें क्या रखा बट लॉजिक इसको मान रहे इसको लॉजिक मानिए भाई सुनिए सुनिए इसको इसको लॉजिक मानिए आपका कोई भी रोड है तो मिनिमम दो दो एंड में दो अगर एक किलोमीटर भी है तो दो एंड में दो तीन किलोमीटर भी है तो एक एंड में दो आप एक काम करो आप टू फाइव किलोमीटर आप छोड़ सकते हो दोनों जगह में फाइव के लिए सर वो भी एक बात है कि कभी कभी हम बोलते हैं ड्राइवर्स के हिसाब से साइकोलॉजी के हिसाब से पांच दस मिनट को उसको रिमाइंड कर देना चाहिए बिल्कुल गैस के लिए हाँ तो मान लीजिए सिक्सटी अगर पोस्टेड स्पीड लिमिट है तो दस मिनट में वो कितना किलोमीटर जाएगा � ये थ्री टू फाइव किलोमीटर वही रेंज के है दस किलोमीटर ही है ना तो आप दोनों एंड में साइन लगा दीजिए दस फुटी बोले अगर पांच किलोमीटर से ज़्यादा है तो बीच में और दस फुटी बोले ना पांच किलोमीटर वाले रिमाइंड होना चाहिए हाँ रिमाइंड होना रिमाइंड होना तो पांच किलोमीटर हो गया तो हम से बियोंड फाइव किलोम कभी कभी होता है, but हो सके कहीं ढूंढने से मिल जाएगा, but this is should be good। हम highway में बोलते क्या? highway में पांच किलोमीटर नहीं बोलेंगे, highway में बोला कि हर दस किलोमीटर में एक होना चाहिए, क्योंकि speed ज़्यादा है highway को। हाँ, और speed छोड़ दीजिए, दस किलोमीटर में, पर अगर restriction है तो तो देना ही है। दस किलोमीटर में नहीं नहीं बोलेगा वो हाँ दस दस मिनट दस मिनट में नहीं बोलेगा तो आप उसको रिमाइंड दिल रहे हैं हर दस मिनट में रिमाइंड दे रहे हैं कि आप स्पीड में चल सकते हैं और उसको ऐसे कर लीजिए जब इससे बीच अगर कोई रोड आके मीट कर रहे हैं कोई जंक्शन से जंक्शन के आगे पीछे होना चाहिए इर फिर भी आपको रिपीट करना पड़ेगा क्योंकि जो वो जंक्शन से अंदर जा रहे हैं आइडर राइट साइड और लेफ्ट साइड जा रहे हैं उसको तो मालूम नहीं पड़ेगा कि मतलब पहले से कि क्या है तो वहीं नवर आया मिंटरी इंटरनेट रोड आई शुड नो दैट व्हाट इज़ मेंस स्पीड क्लियर है अभी जब ओके नाउ वी विल डिस्कस कॉशनरी साइंस और वार uh, <coughs> warning signs should uh, caution uh, these signs are used for warning uh, giving the warning to the driver to caution the driver and should not be mounted on the same post as stop or give a sign okay so this cautionary sign is uh, triangle and vertex is at the top but give a sign is vertex down so we should not confuse and uh, should not be posted in the same post uh, 
with two or more signs are erected together, a hazard first encounter should be mounted uh, uppermost. So, these are uh, some of the common uh, cautionary signs. Uh, carve ke liye, uh, right hand or left hand car, narrow road, uh, sharp bend or hairpin bend, school ahead, to bahut sara school rehta hai. So, it is very, very important to put this sign so that the vehicles, uh, the drivers know to restrict the speed. So, these are all mid gap in median, pedestrian crossing, main at work, bahut sara jayega mein raste ka kaam ho raha hai. So, main at work sign minimum must be given. Yadi cautionary or uh, mandatory sign, dhono yadi kahin lagana ho, to koon sa pehle lagaya hai? Dhono hi lagana hai. Mandatory to lagana hi padega aapko. Pehle koon sa lagaya? It depends on what, what example of DJ. speed limit. protocol. Yes, yes. I don't know if this is not in the code. No, this is not in the code. You have to put something in the code. Look, what is the protocol? You are going, you have to say, that 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 you have to say, RRPM से बना हुआ रंबल की बात कर रहे थे ना याद है जब इधर तब पेंटिंग मतलब वो डिजाइन की बात आया तो डिस्कशन में आ गया तो क्या बोला है जे आप इसको हम थर्मोप्लास्टिक पेंट से रंबल बना रहे हैं तो क्या ट्रक को रोकने के लिए बिल्कुल नहीं है वी नो दैट ट्रक विल नॉट गो दर बट उसके एक वाइब्रेशन आया Rumble strip. So, I will say, okay, I will say, 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 if it is speed restriction related, then give the information plus first, then give the limit. Haan, because normal sir, natural si jo thought process hai, uske saath hum jitna marks karayenge, nahi to kya hoga na jab pehle usko thirty de raha. So suddenly kahan se aa gaya? So why thirty? Why thirty? So pehle information do and information in advance, then till the so, पहले if it is pedestrian crossing, yes. So, first we need to warn them just slow. Then, why slow? The driver will ask, why slow? Because there is a school or because there is a narrow bridge, because there is a curve. Yes, okay. So, first warn karo, then mandatory karo, jay restriction karna hai. So, most important uh, cautionary or warning signs from road safety perspective. Uh, this is one such thing is that again in the minor road, speed humps should be provided. And this is also a picture of our recent road safety audit. This is a minor road meeting a major road and speed hump is there. So, speed hump jo rahega, then also the road sign should be there, right. So, this is the speed hump, this is clearly visible, it should not be obstructed by trees and it also should be uh, painted, right. It should be preferred uh, hump or a rumble strip. It depends, uh, you can provide hump, you can provide, normally in minor road we provide this humps. Because in the road safety committee meeting, the SP district has instructed that all these hump ships should be removed and removed. Hump is there in the minor road. Swati, this is the 
लंबा स्ट्रिप नॉर्मली इन द मेजर रोड कहाँ लगाएंगे रैम पहले हम्बल रंबल लगाएंगे क्या हम बात ये है फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज दैट एनी चाइ का मैंडेट है अभी आप हाईवे के ऊपर हम नहीं लगा सकते तो अगर ये हाईवे है तो हम की बात ओनली व्हाट यू कैन डू इज द रंबल नाउ कमिंग बैक टू योर क्वेश्चन रूरल एरिया में हम इज ऑल्सो इफेक्टिव Rumble is also effective. Pavement top is also effective. Race junction is also effective. Urban rural signs are multiple things. All are effective. Now, which one will we put? It will be a little bit of choice. So, as I told, highway is so high, so we can't put it. Only rumble can be put. But if it is rural, or rather than highway, then but if it is rural, or rather than highway, then I have both options. So, generally, it is. Rumble is less restrictive in nature. Generally, क्या करते? Rumble करते थोड़ा सा मतलब एक है it gives you a vibration एक level तक speed लेके आप comfortably उसके ऊपर जा सके कोई problem नहीं है. लेकिन rumble का जो practical एक issue है practical issue ये है जैसे जिस मान लीजिए कोई market area है market area के आगे पीछे करना है तो ये लॉलेज प्रेफर आप रंबल लगाएंगे। बहुत साइड। रंबल वे प्रेफर मोर, बिकॉज़ इसमें डिस्टर्बेंस कम होते हैं। The vehicle can go, right? But रंबल अगर सीरीज ऑफ हम बन गया, then that is awful। तुम कई जगह में देखा रंबल बनाना आता नहीं। वो लोग क्या रंबल के सीरीज को फॉलो किया, तो पांच छह करके लगा दिया। लेकिन एक-एक एक हम लगा दिया। इतना ही कंस्ट्रक्शन तो रस्ता में चली नहीं सकोगे। जीवन लोग वैसे ही बनते हैं सर। हाँ, वेरी डिसकंफर्ट, डिसकंफर्ट तू द राइडिंग हो जाता है। इट शुड बी इन द प्रॉपर डिजाइन। सो डिजाइन इज एन इश्यू। सो आई वुड से आपका बात जो कंट्रैक्टर है, जो मैनपावर है, जो आप देखोगे जे सही तरीके से डिजाइन I will give you an example. IIT campus के अंदर काफी सारी हम है, rumble नहीं है, हम है काफी सारी। But अगर 30 किलोमीटर है, तो I can guarantee you आप 30 किलोमीटर में आप travel कर सकते हो, कोई problem नहीं होगा। मतलब वो speed के हिसाब से बनाया। आप rumble बनाओ, आप speed हम दो, proper design से दो, दोनों effective रहे। लेकिन जनरली हमको अगर पूछोगे टाइमिंग से नॉर्मली थोड़ा मार्केट एरिया है ये है तो उसमें हम ना देके रंबल देने की कोशिश करें और जहाँ पे पेडिस्ट्रियन क्रॉस कर रहे हैं जो एरिया में राइट जैसे आपका मान लीजिए मार्केट है तो मार्केट का टिपिकल ट्रीटमेंट कैसे करूँगा जब दोनों साइड में अपस्ट्रीम � और बीच में अगर मार्केट एरिया है, तो व्हाट विल डू? आई विल प्रेफर टू प्रोवाइड ए टेबल टॉप। टेबल टॉप क्या है? रेस्ट है, ठीक है? तो रेस्ट करने से आप पेडिस्ट्रियन क्रॉसिंग भी वहाँ से हो गया, राइट? इफ स्पेशली एबल पीपल रहेगा, किसी को विल चेंज लेके लेके किसी को क्योंकि फ्लैट है ना तो कर्व नहीं बना रहे हमारे जितना दिखते रहता है कर्व बना रहे हैं कर कर्वी शेप बना रहे हैं दिखते रहता है तो आप फ्लैट रखिए दोनों पर जैसे दो साइड पे स्लोप रहेगा दैट इज़ फंटेस्टिक सो पेडिस्ट्रियन क्रॉसिंग भी अगर है पेडिस्ट्रियन बाइसाइकल को क्रॉसओवर � आर्बन सेमी आर्बन सेक्शन है वहाँ पे आप टेबल टॉप प्रेफर करो हाईवे में है हाईवे में है पासिंग थ्रू आर्बन एरिया वहाँ पे भी टेबल टॉप यूज करो कोई मना नहीं है बाकी हाईवे में ओनली बचा रहेगा रंबल स्ट्रिप 
बाकी जगह में आप रंबल भी यूज कर सकते हो स्पीड हम भी यूज कर सकते हो वाटेबिलिटी के ऊपर जो करा पाओगे ठीक से बट माइनर रोड की जो सारी मेजर हाईवे में मीट कर रहे हैं स्टेट हाईवे हो नेशनल हाईवे हो उसमें जहाँ स्टॉप लाइन लगा रहे हो उसमें आई विल प्रेफर जे हम नॉट द राइट so this is also a treatment uh, in the minor road and in the major road the drivers should be warned that if a minor road is coming from the left side or right side so minor junction sign should be placed well in advance so that the driver in the major road can see that there is a minor road so this sign should be provided school ahead similarly school ahead sign should be provided well in advance so that the driver can control the speed and then if the speed limit sign needs to be provided that can be provided after that similarly for the pedestrian crossing so that should be placed before the zebra crossing that uh, so the driver should be warned that there is a pedestrian crossing and then he can go to the then see the pedestrian crossing area similarly construction zone signage uh, in many cases road widening ho raha hai to people are working near the side of the road or one portion is blocked so workers can move around in that uh, location so this sign this sign is main at work must be provided well in advance to the uh, work zone or construction zone so that uh, we will have uh, more discussion so that also should be placed beforehand so that driver is cautious and reduce its speed now we will talk about pavement marking this is also uh, very important go side by side with sign and marking so this is also the pavement marking is also for guiding the road users as we have discussed uh, that the age line is the minimum requirement that has to be provided and this is the code irc code which is available and that gives you all the details so many different types of markings are there different colors are used like in road sign also different colors are used for different type of road sign so here also different colors are used for marking and nowadays new colors are also coming up so that also you can uh, consider and also single line double line dotted line all have some meaning so we should follow that so as we have all just discussed night time driving ke liye very very important also for different uh, inclement weather like rainy season or fog or so so pavement marking always goes along with the driver right road sign maybe you have missed one but if the age marking is there along the road throughout so it is guiding you all through the road so it is very very important raised pavement markers have an impact on night time crashes so this is the age marking and ye kya picture hai this is rrp rrpm is the picture visible so rrpm is also at the age <laughs> so this is the rrpm at the ages so it governs and, and night time these are all retro reflective so very clearly it is visible log continuous to solid line de hi de hi rahe uske sath bhi bol rahe fir night time visibility delegation ko aur bhi improve karo to rrpm laga de ek interval तो ऑल ऑल एटीएम देखिए कितना इंपॉर्टेंट है सेफ्टी के लिए इसलिए तो वो ये भी लगा रहे हैं तो मार्किंग भी कर रहे हैं साथ में डेलिनेशन भी कर रहे हैं और वो मार्किंग को भी आजकल हम लोग हर थर्मो प्लास्टिक पेंट यूज कर रहे हैं तो उसमें तो ग्लास बीट वगैरह है एंड इनटू रिफ्लेक्शन उसमें काफी अच्छा है फिर भी एडिशनल बोल रहे हो सके तो उसके साथ और भी मतलब फर्नीचर डालो 
particularly the Arab game. So that looks very nice also in the night time, it, it, uh, very well you can, it can be governed. Uh, so there are different uh, type of marking, longitudinal marking, intersection marking, hazardous marking, parking marking, etc. Uh, materials, you all know it, there may be paint or the thermo, thermoplastics, this is retro reflection. Paintings, uh, road markings should also be properly retro reflected and this is the retro reflection uh, things, I am not going into detail. The colors, the colors are very important, so we have to follow the colors for marking. You all know it, white line is for restriction, yellow is uh, more restriction. So white in general used for good visibility because the, all these roads, uh, white line is used. Yellow is more restrictive, so you should not cross it. Blue, these are new colors which are coming up now. Blue is uh, so blue is for public transport, including BRTS, three wheelers, scooters, rickshaw. We have seen that in Bhopal, I think BRTS was there. Now it is not there. So for that, this blue color is can be provided. Green is for bicycle track and NMT facilities. Red or purple is hazardous intersections. So these are uh, the new colors which have come up and uh, we should follow it. Also it could be dotted and solid that we can see, you see here that this is yellow is more restrictive, white and this is the cycle track which is green, red is the hazardous location, white, okay, I will have seen it. So longitudinal marking, center line, traffic lines, no overtaking zone, warning lines, etc. These are longitudinal marking. Intersection marking, stop lines as you have seen, give way lines. We have uh, shown you pedestrian crossings, etc. Hmm. Now these are the some of the markings, longitudinal marking, age marking, lane uh, division marking and these are dotted, somewhere it is solid. So solid means no. we cannot cross it, no. dotted, yes we can cross during overtaking then you can come to the original lane and this means, what does this mean? This means that the vehicles in this lane can cross to this lane while overtaking but not this, uh, uh, the vehicles which are moving in this lane. So they cannot cross because along uh, this side, this is the solid line. So the vehicles cannot cross these lines to go to that lane, but the vehicles in this lane can cross. Okay, so this is the line solid and dotted that uh, sometimes we require this because maybe at that side the vehicle is very heavy or so, so we cannot allow the vehicles to cross, so that can be uh, given. So this is the along the curve, you know it. So here, this is the curvature, two lines can be given, so for more restriction and this is for the acceleration, deceleration lanes, these are the markings, this is this is also lane markings and then uh, the two restrictive line, we cannot cross it here. So these are the yellow lines are also given, so like that these are different longitudinal pavement markings. These are intersection markings, these are the locations where the pedestrians can cross. This is, we have all uh, discussed this thing, the stop line, somewhere it is give way line, so that has to be provided in the minor road junction. Um, this is the portion, that is the restricted portion, the vehicles should not stand here while crossing the intersection, so here also and this is the give way sign, right. So that uh, we have shown, so these are important along with road signs, the pavement markings also should be provided to give more thrust, to give more reminder, uh, to give more caution to the drivers. So these are parking. Uh, pavement markings for parking, you can see here that these are the Maybe markings, uh, uh, this thing for uh, particularly for uh, urban areas. This is low bridge, this is the hazard marking. 
you can see this is the hazard marking near the uh, low bridge rob <laughs> Chevron भी है और एक और है हाँ this is also see a hazard the a tree is there and so it is painted black and yellow for uh, indicating that there is a hazard for the vehicle similarly here this is a new one uh, which is coming maybe in the more in the urban area this is called uh, 3D marking this uh, looks like a 3D object. So, the driver when it uh, going through the road will find it a 3D object. So, vision uh, psychological uh, restriction to them, but it is actually a marking. So, it is just painted on the road. So, it is actually just uh, 2D painting, but uh, to the driver it appears as a 3D object. So, he can restrict the speed. So, this is for the pedestrian crossing. This is bus stop. So, that also can be uh, painted on the carriageway. So, like that these are different uh, pavement marking and then come to the delineations. There are several delineations uh, object markers to indicate the hazards and obstruction uh, within the vehicle path. So, these are particularly for nighttime driving because it is all uh, uh, blinkers. Uh, so, that uh, can be visible from a long distance and uh, it can warn the driver that there is some object is uh, there on the way. So, traffic islands at approaches to intersections where the traffic divides into two directions. So, these objects, these hazard markers are provided and these are the chevrons. Chevrons are very important. You can see here these are single chevron, this is a double chevron and this is a triple chevron. Chevrons are very important and must be provided along the curve must be provided along the curve and depending on the radius of the curve more is the uh, curvature you can provide more number of chevrons. And uh, particularly it is uh, important for night time driving because night time the visibility is less, sight distance is restricted. So, it should be retro reflective and at uh, any point of time along the curve at least 3 chevrons must be visible. At least three chevrons. <laughs> sometimes it is very less, sometimes it is too many. So that is Non-linear ke liye teen point. Linear ke liye to do hi kaafi hai. Right? So non-linear teen point se ye bas. So koi bhi position ki road se jab drive kar rahe hai, agar curve hai, to aapko teen chevron dekhna chahiye. Isse aage zarurat nahi hai. Ab dus laga diya, laga hai laga hai. But not the required. So aise depend karke laga ye, jaise koi bhi jagah mein road point se aapko at least visible, at least three is visible. So, this is visible, visible, visible. Night time mein hai to bahaat. Koi bhi, koi ek point se aapko, koi bhi point se, road point se aap jab drive kar rahe hai. At least three. Hai, negotiate kar rahe hai, so aapko three point se. Three visible hona chahiye. So, for that it may be more, right, it may be more and if it is more so curve, it will be more, so depending on Haan. the length of the car. If you put it in close, then how close will it be? So, that depends on at least three so should be so visible. So, like if you have any road points, from every point, you have to see three points. Where are you going to see three points? Three points. Three points. Yes. And both are curvature high, so you can use this double chevron or triple chevron also. And this is also hazard marker. This is also important, particularly in minor bridge. Udhar jo hai. So, Udhar, you can put this. This is very important. And this. Chevron is must. 
तो ये दोनों का भी डिफरेंस है यू कैन सी हियर दिस ब्लैक लाइन इज पॉइंटिंग डाउनवर्ड और इधर ब्लैक लाइन इज पॉइंटिंग दिस वे राइट सो दिस मीन्स दैट व्हीकल कैन मूव राइट ऑफ इट हियर व्हीकल कैन मूव लेफ्ट ऑफ इट राइट डाउन जिधर है उधर से ही व्हीकल जाना है सो दिस इज ऑब्जेक्ट मार्कर इसको ख्याल करिए Vehicle should, when the vehicle needs to travel right of it, you should put this object marker. When the vehicle needs to travel left of it, ये देना चाहिए. Uh, this means, दोनों side से ही vehicle can travel, right? Maybe there is a island or so. So both sides, हाँ, बीच बीच में कुछ है. So in that case, you can put this. Or this. maybe इसका एक example देना. है, example है, I think. दो दो एक picture है ना? आपका एक bridge था. दिखाया पहले जो अद्भुत साइड ऑफ दैट माइनर ब्रिज ये और ये दिखाया हाँ उधर उधर भी ये ही लगा दीजिए If it is available, the road space is available. So, ये लगा दीजिए. And this is RRPM as we have shown. And ये ये this is delineator. Delineator is also for guiding the traffic. These are pictures. You see here. ये देखिए इधर. This. So the vehicle is travelling. So this type of hazard marker is placed here. Whereas here, this is the hazard marker. Right? ये देखिए curve. So chevrons are there. So in the night time, at least three chevrons must be visible. ये देखिए इधर. This is also chevrons, but too many chevrons maybe. So here also you see that the age marking. This is RRPM, RRPM, and uh, this is RRPM very clearly guiding the driver to maintain the lanes. And these are the delineators to. Uh, guide the drivers follow to follow the lanes so these are the examples of object marker chevrons rrpm or delineators so these are all important to guide the road users so that safety is ensured thank you